how to use Harif. Okay, so the basic thing of wow, playing Harif, right? You need to get your cooldown reduction to 30%. That's like the most basic thing of Harif. Okay, this is the first thing you need to do. You see the cooldown reduction on the attributes. The Mage Emblem gives you like 5%. And then your first talent, the tier 1 talent, the extra 5%. So from the emblem itself, right, you will gain like 10% cooldown reduction. This is like non-negotiable. You cannot build otherwise, you just suffer. So once you get the emblem, right, wow, I'm touched by your focus. what you need to do is you need to build this item. Wait, let, let me get enough food. First item is magic boots. Second is the stallium item. Then the third item, okay, with these two items, right, you already have like 30%. Once you hit 30% right, you can just keep dashing. Like after, you see after I hit somebody, or I hit the target. Yo, Zilong come. Oh my god, Zilong just ran away guy. Uh, let me use a reliable target, not Zilong. Okay, this is a target. Like, okay, you, you check my cooldown reduction is 30% now right. So, once I hit the Zilong, my second skill refresh like instantly. So this is the sweet spot that you need to reach, the 30% cooldown reduction. This is like the fundamentals of Harif. I'll hunt you to so, the you, you, if you want to ask like, let's say you don't have enough cooldown, right? Okay, let's say you have like 25%, wow, like 5% away of uh, 30%. Evil doer, for your then your, your, look at your second skill. It's like, you have like 0 0.5 seconds there. You can't spam it anymore. So it's away. very annoying. So this is the basics of Harif. What's next is the standard build. You go Feather, Holy Crystal, Divine Glaive. You can build it if enemy has already like Athena or Radiant. If not, then you can just skip that. Go Blood Wings first, then you go Divine Glaive like later on. You can also just swap one of the items. Like let's say you swap Blood Wings with like Immortality, Immortal, Immortality. Or you just keep the Blood Wings. If enemy don't have like magic defense, no point for you to build Divine. You just go like Winter or Immortality. So, actually, there's another tip if you guys want to know. So, there are actually two ways of playing Hari. Okay, let's ignore like the damage item. Let's ignore all of it. Okay, let's keep the feather. Let's keep the feather. <laughs> you can get so, there are actually two ways of playing Hari. One is you just spam the basic attack. Yeah, you are relying on the basic attack, the enhanced basic attack to do damage. So, what you will do in the team fight is you just aim your second skill. Like you don't even care about the first skill. Just aim your second skill. Just keep spamming your basic attack. So another way of playing Harif, like the, the smarter way of playing Harif will be you will use your enhanced basic attack twice and then you use your first skill one. So it'll be like this. One, two, first skill. One, two, first skill. One, two, first skill. Again, first skill. So it's like two, two, one. That will be, I believe, the highest damage potential. Like, it, it will do more damage than just keep spamming the second skill. If I'm not wrong. There's no, no exact way to test it. Because in the real game, the enemy will just move around. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's the end of Harif. Harif tutorial. I'll say he's an easy... Well, not easy, but a medium difficulty hero. Wow, Once you get the basics right, the 30% cooldown and also you know, aiming where to dash and land your first skill, you can basically start bullying everyone wow, in rank game. The number one problem with Harif is he needs to be open first. <laughs> He's like permanent ban right now. You can't even pick him. So with all the knowledge you have gained from this, from this clip or video or whatever form of content, yeah, you can't apply it if enemy just ban Harif. Oh yeah.